Okay, we're going to uh, review uh, an MRI scan of the lumbar spine here to demonstrate how we can uh, uh, review the normal anatomy of the spine using the MRI. And we're going to use the computer-based PAC system that we typically use uh, instead of film nowadays. And this is the way the images are provided. Uh, it's a nice way to organize the films, but it also allows us to do some things that really demonstrate the anatomy in three dimensions much more clearly. So this is a fairly normal MRI scan here, uh, and we're going to start here on the left, uh, this series of images, and I can scroll from side to side here. We'll start kind of in the middle. Uh, these are profile views, also known as sagittal views. Uh, these are uh, oriented as if the person is standing and facing over here to the left. So this is the back, and this is the spine. The larger, lighter areas are the bones and the spaces between are the discs, which are made out of cartilage. The spinal canal, where the nerves travel, is back here. The spinal cord is this gray stripe. Now the spinal cord comes down from above, but it does not go all the way down. It tapers and ends right about here in this person. Um, below that are individual nerves, which are these wavy lines. If I scroll side to side, we can see these little lines here, the nerves. So the solid spinal cord is not present down here in the lower part of the lumbar spine, but rather this bundle of individual nerves. The white in here is water or spinal fluid. On the back of the spine, at every level, there are a pair of joints which are called facets or facet joints. And these are like knuckles and they are, they are true joints. We'll see them better on the other views. The other thing that we can see on the sagittal or profile views is we can see these little openings in the spine, and these are off to the sides. These are called foramina, and this is where the nerves exit the spine. So the foramen is this opening, and the nerve is this gray area within that. And that's the right side, and we can go to the left side and see the nerves exiting the foramina on that side. And as we scroll back and forth, we can kind of see how the uh, the scrolling function here lets us get a sense for how the nerves kind of flow out of the spine. So now we're going to jump over here to the uh, other set of images. These are called axial images. They are um, profile, excuse me, or they are um, cross sections. So this is a, a slice or a series of slices and the level is demonstrated by this yellow uh, line on the other, other picture. So each one of these pictures is oriented as if the person is laying on their back and we are looking up from the direction of the feet. So now this is the back, front, right, and left. These are the back muscles. These are the kidneys. And this is the spine. This part here is the bone or the disc, depending on where the slice is. The facets, the knuckles, are these things here. And we can see where the two bones come together just like in a knuckle or a knee. And the spinal canal is here. So the white is water, and now the nerves appear as little dots. Now, what we can see at every level of the spine, and these are all normal, is that at each level, one of the nerves has moved up into this corner. And this corner is called the lateral recess or the subarticular recess. This is the space that the nerve has to transit as it exits the spine. And it's where the nerve is somewhat vulnerable. It's vulnerable because it's tethered there. The other nerves are floating away. And because when this picture was taken, this person was laying on their back, the nerves are settling down to the lowest point. But these two nerves have assumed a position up here because they're, they have to exit there. Uh, that nerve on either side then wraps around out here to the foramen. So again, there's the nerve in the lateral recess, and then here it is in the foramen. So if we're looking at the nerve there, that's the same thing that we saw when we looked at the nerve over here. So going back to these images, now we can see at each level, and now we're at L3-4, we can see the two nerves in the lateral recesses and the two nerves in the foramen. And again, at L4-5, we see the two nerve roots here and the two nerve roots out here. Or at S1, where we see the two S1 nerve roots and the two L5 nerve roots. And we can see the size and the shape of the, of the facets at each level better on these axial images as well.